Hello there. All right, so uh, this next little video um, is going to kind of show you how to set things up for this project. Um, you are going to go to into Pixlr. Um, you are going to be on the Pixlr uh, Pixlr E, I believe. Let's double check. Pixlr E. Yep. So that's the advanced. Um, and you're going to do a create new. Okay, we're going to do a ultra HD. Um, there we go. And I'm going to turn background on. I'm going to make white. So I'm going to hit create. Okay. Um, so remember, we're going to do um, serial boxes. And so you know this is in the wrong direction so what we want to do is go to image image rotate and you're going to rotate it right so now we have a nice long image here All right so um you know one of the things we kind of talked about before is you know bringing in the image and and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to make a new layer and we're going to add an image Right, and so and these are all my textures, and so I, and I'm on a Mac, so it's gonna a little be a little bit different than yours. Um, yours should be in your file folder, or, or if you're on a PC, you know you should be able to find it that way. Um, but yeah, you can do all this stuff on your uh, on your Chromebook, just like I am. So it's not that much of a difference. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just gonna bring in my textures and that kind of stuff. So hit OK. You can see, boom, there it is. Okay. Um, and that's how I'm going to get started. Um, I am going to try to do this Tony the Tiger Frosted Flakes box. And so let's, I already kind of started it so you can kind of see where I'm at with it. So you can see I have a handful of layers here. Um, let's turn some of them on and off so you can kind of see what's going on here. So the first thing I did was I brought in a texture and I went in just like I talked about in one of the other videos. I went into adjustments and changed the colors. Uh, oops. Gotta make sure I'm on the right layer. Went into adjustments and changed my, and I used color balance um, to get it to this. Uh, the next thing I did is I brought in a texture, which was this, and used my lasso tool to cut it out. And I did the Command C, Command V to actually copy it, and then this is what I got. Right. So this. Um, was my original texture here, um, but I used my colors or my adjustments in color balance or hue and saturation. It's up to you how you change your colors. Um, and that's why I ended up with this, which is kind of cool. Um, the next thing I brought in, oh, I got a phone call. We're gonna decline that for right now. Um, Cool, so now we have our shape. You can kind of see just like over here. This is our base shape. And then the next thing I'm going to do is, let's see. So I bring, brought in another layer, a similar texture, a little bit different. One thing you notice here, it's kind of see-through. Um, and so what I did was, because I, I was going to make the white face shape out of that, um, I brought in a layer and actually made it transparent. So that way I can actually see where I'm going to cut. So I made this rough shape there. Do, do, do. Okay. And then I did command C, command V and ended up with this, right? I went into my adjustments. I messed around with my color balance, highlights, you know, some of that stuff to get it to a white um, and then I actually hit it. And then I went into my uh, went into my original image of this guy down here, this orange one. Used my selection tool, and this time I actually turned on polygon. Um, and up here, one of the things I didn't talk about too much is doing add to selection or removes from selection. With this, um, I can actually go in and make multiple selections at the same time because every time I make a new selection it's going to add to it 
right? So I actually went in and did all of these things at the same time. We'll deselect that. Um, and basically copied them and pasted them into a totally new layer, right? Which was this guy here. Right, and so now you can see with all that stuff together, you can see I'm really actually starting to get somewhere. So all I'm doing is taking a bunch of different textures and layers and, and that kind of stuff to get to this point, right? So you can see it's kind of coming along. Um, you know, over time, some of the other things I'm going to be adding into it would be, um, you know, these boxes, text, which is right here, which we talked about in one of the other videos. Uh, and so I'm just kind of recreating it, you know. Um, step by step it takes a while but uh yeah you'll have a handful of days and there's gonna be a lot of a lot of troubleshooting and messing around and playing around with it to get it to where you want it to be but you guys i'm gonna give you like you know a good chunk of this week and at least all all week next week just to see you know where we're at with stuff and just kind of playing around but um you know even though it's an online software i think you can end up with some really cool stuff out of it so there you go please feel free to reach out to me, um, whether it's during the office hours or just send me an email or any of that stuff. And I should be able to respond to you right away with some of your questions and that kind of stuff. So, and I'll make more tutorials if there's a bunch of stuff that uh, people feel like they need help with. Um, I can also just make personalized tutorials just for you if you have a very specific questions too. So uh, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me, shoot me an email, um, any of that kind of stuff, all right? All right, good luck, people. Have fun with this.